welcome to the session one of ASP.NET that is how to create how to create simple ASP.NET web page so for that first open the visual studio click on this icon and go to the file new and click on the website and the shortcut for that shift alter plus n click on the website select the language visual c sub select the asp.net empty website and here is the path of the website and you can also change the name of the website on my first web page click on ok and it will create your first website that is my first web page but here the we select the empty website so there is no web page is there to add the web page right click on the add add a new item and select the web form here you can also change the name of the web form that is default.aspx so we will write home and click on the add so here is the code of the website here Percentage at the red page is the page directive for the simple ASP.NET web page. Language is a C sharp auto event wire up true. The code behind file of this web page is home.aspx.cs. .cs is the extension of C sharp because we are using the language equal to C sharp. Now, doc type HTML and all these codes are from the HTML that we you have already learned in a WT subject and here XMLNS that is XML namespace is a www.wt.org which is the standardized and head tag run at server when you when you want to get a response from the server then you have to write run at server because it is a server side language now let us put the word in a title my first page so it will appear in a browser tab then after you can use any tag of the html here form id form one run at server because we want to risk we want a response from the server then after division tag and here there are three options you can only view the source code you can only view the design code or you can also able to split coding and designing into the two parts so first in a body part write down in h1 tag hello this is my first web page and click on this it will appear like hello this is my first web page now to run this code here you can also able to select the various browser because i have a three different browsers firefox google chrome internet explorer i select i have selected the google chrome now click on that click on ok because first time it will modify your web.config here home.aspx and .xpx is extension of asp.net web page and here you can see that hello this is my first web page okay thank you